Hi dear viewers, this is Arash Kamali with another session of the website programming course under Python programming language and the Django framework. Again, as always, a very warm and heartfelt welcome from me. In this section of the tutorials, we are going to get to know the checkboxes and get to see what they are. We can check some boxes and apply them on the site or leave them unchecked. We are going to choose the check boxes, for instance, on this part of our website, as you see over here in the emails for those who have registered their mail in the news feed. And for instance, we can delete the check boxes that have been chosen so that we won't have to delete anything or say that only send emails to those check boxes that have been chosen. That's what we are going to do that is going to make things a lot easier for us on most occasions. And we are going to need it where the admin chooses some option just by checking it. And thus we are going to see how a checkbox works and how we can check or uncheck a box and what that means exactly. Okay. Uh, there are two methods whereby we can have some checkboxes and be able to see uh, which ones have been checked and which ones haven't. And there is one method using the for ring and the other is using an array or a list to do so. Uh, in which we are going to demonstrate both as a test so that you would get to choose the one which is more suitable and convenient on your project and suits your project better okay and uh, I'm sure the array method is much more professional compared uh, to foring but it can be done using the foring as well at first what I do is to set the checkboxes over here I need to first go to the HTML and deal with the appearance of the site uh, in the email, let's see, the emails are over here. Okay, let's see here. Emails list. At first, uh, I make a new, yeah, and set the value as NBSP. SPSP and then I make a TD okay inside the TD I set an input and I set the input type as let's see checkbox okay I give it a name check it be check ID would be check okay okay that's for the HTML I refresh the page and as you see over here the chosen checkbox has been activated for me so that I can choose for any of the fields that I want I can either choose or uncheck it now uh, what we need to do is receiving the checked and unchecked values now we are going to see which values have been chosen and which ones have not been chosen. Okay, if we want to do the reception, as always, we have set up a name for the input fill, but we are going to run into problems. The reason is we don't have a field. We may have 10 or 100 or 1000 data, and if all the names is checked, as they are in a foreign, all the names will be checked. Okay. This is going to cause some problem. Name is check will return for us. That is, if we have 100, the 100 numbers will all have the same name and it won't be available because all the names are identical. So that this does not happen, we need to define the names dynamically. That is, we need to do something so that the names of the checkboxes will be dynamically defined in the HTML here. In the HTML, rather than giving the static name check, uh, we need to set up a dynamic name. And thus, after that, we are going to read the dynamic names that we have made in the view and see which ones have been checked. 
and been activated for us so at first we need to make the names dynamic the simplest way to make the names dynamic would be to use the fill that is my email or id fills choose one and set it as the name of my checkbox that is here uh, instead of check for instance i can set the uh, uh, code pk okay now if i refresh uh, let's see now each one of these check boxes that we have over here we go to the page source okay let's see in the emails list okay and if you check these out here my check boxes have received different values one of them has received five uh, there are other it the other is six and the other one is seven so now my names have become dynamic now i turn it back to before i had made the name dynamic and i want to show it then as well again i check my page source okay okay as you see name check for the checkbox and all the checkboxes are called check and now uh, the return value will be the last checkbox it only returns one as you see here okay and now we have made the names dynamic and i know the names of my check boxes on this section they are equal that's for the html section uh, in the follow-up we are going to make a view and receive these check boxes in the view